HR and payroll solutions don't have to be expensive. Discover Frappe HR, a free open source platform to manage your business from hiring to accounting and payroll and much more. This solution provides a suite of tools your team can benefit from to grow and operate your company without paying dozens of different paid solutions poorly integrated together. To give it a try, you can use their free cloud version accessible on their website. You can follow the installation instructions available on their GitHub repository. You can also use a platform like ours, Elestio, to take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you on the cloud provider of your choice. To install it on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Frappe HR and select. Choose between the different cloud providers, region and service plans based on your needs. Then hit next. Do the final configuration, choose between the different level of supports and once you are ready, create service. Once the installation is finished, you receive an email to notify you. You can follow the click here to get the password link. Then copy the password to your clipboard and open your instance by following the URL. The main account created is named administrator and you can paste the password from your clipboard then connection. Welcome, we have the onboarding process. We can choose between different language. The list is huge, I will stick to English. Then it automatically filled my country, my time zone and currency, but I will change my currency to USD and then next. Now I need to create my user account. So let's enter my full name, my email address and type a password. Then next and last but not least, the company name, Elestio. You can generate an abbreviation. I will keep the only E letter. Then you have the choice of the chart of accounts. If you look at what it is, it's how the accounted is spread within different folders. So here it's one version and the second one is just with numbers. We have a prefix of number, maybe it's useful for accounting, I don't know. I will stick to the one without numbers and at what date your financial year begins. Usually it's the 1st January, but if you open your business in the middle of the year, it might be a different month. It might not be useful for you, but for this video it is. We can generate some demo data for exploration, so I can show you the different features. Then complete setup. This is where we arrive when we finish the setup phase. And something I really like with Frappe HR is that every time you discover something new, you will have some tour with different tasks to not be lost in translation between tons of features, but with some steps to get started. Now we are in the home, so the first thing they request us is to create an item and we have a definition of what it is. An item is a product or service offered by your company or something that you buy as part of your supplies or raw materials. And they explain to us that what we will create will be part of all the accounting invoicing system already built in for PHR. So before creating a new item, let's show the item list. And because we are using demo data, you can see we have a list of products that we sell. But let's also create our own item. So create a new item, item code, let's name it SE001. You can add the code convention you like for your business. I choose SE for services. So let's add it to the services group. You have already a list of different groups and the unit of measure will keep it and then save. Perfect. It automatically validated the task for me. Then I can create a customer, but because we are using the demo data, we don't have to create everything. We can just explore it. We have already three different customers. Let's open one of them, Palmer Productions. And you will notice the more we explore screens that a lot of features are common to all the screens with all the differences that each feature requires. For example, here we need address and contact tags, it's here. But there are also common things, like here you can have likes and comments. Or if we go to the bottom, you will always be able to create comments and have some activity info. And this is shared between the different features. Let's add, for example, a profile picture to this customer. I will upload my picture. Here it is. I can choose to optimize it to make it private or not. I want and just upload it. Perfect. Then for each customer, you can go deeper. 
add some bunch of information, choose which currency you use for this customer. For example, your company is set up in USD, like the one I'm using right now. But for this customer, you can say, okay, this one is in Euro. And then you save it. And automatically, the invoices it will generate will be in Euro, which is more convenient to handle here on a customer level than for each invoice and to ask the question. As we didn't create a customer, just let's keep it. And then we can create our first sale invoice, but we just open the list of invoices already present. So you can see they have the status, either it's paid on time, perfect, or it's overdue. Let's open this one, which has a huge amount, but is not paid yet. You have the detail of what is composed this invoice. You can choose to download it, but the default format it will download if you choose this path is a CSV, which is good for accounting, but not for here. No worries, we also have a way better version. If we use the print feature, it will open that nice screen here where we have some option to decide the way we lay out our invoice. We have even picture of what we sell the amount and we can download a PDF. But because we don't like unpaid invoice, let's go back to our invoice and here create a payment, even if it's a fictional one, because no one is going to pay me over $230,000. So let's go here. You can enter different information, taxes, charge. But what will be required is the reference of the payment to be able to match it inside our accounting and our bank account. Let's name it randomly 42 and then save. Because it is the creation of something important, first it will be as a draft. You will have the details of what you are trying to achieve. And if everything is good, then submit it to really validate it. And perfect, let's continue. If we go back here, this invoice is now paid. Fine, so this is it for the main onboarding process of the home. Then you have different features related to accounting and for each group of features, you also have an onboarding, but we won't do it together. Just know that inside accounting, you can manage the payables, which are what you purchase, then the receivable, which is what you sell and generate income for our, your company, and from all of that, you can generate financial reports. But I think if I open it right now, let's open gross profit, because we don't have real data, it's the demo data, it doesn't ger generate one, or maybe the timelines are incorrect. Then again, from a classical point of view, you have all of the ERP features, such as buying the different option and features for it, selling, you also have an onboarding, and the stock of what your company belongs. You even have that nice graph here representing everything you have. Let's jump to the main feature, which is in the title Frappe HR. So it's here on the left, you have HR, and it contains a lot of different things to manage your employees. This time, let's quickly follow again the onboarding, HR settings, let's explore it. And for each onboarding, you have a guided tour explaining you the different features. So you can say, OK, next. Then the working hours. OK, perfect. But if you want to modify it and not to validate and go out, you can just do close and edit the things. So let's say I want to use an employee number to see my employee or their full name. I want them to work 40 hours. You can choose their retirement age, but you are not obligated to fill everything. Once you're ready, hit save. And because we didn't go to the end of the HR settings, we did close and not done, we can just keep it manually. Then you can create holiday lists, create an employee. Let's do it. I will create an employee. So you have show tour, but let's figure it out ourselves. Let's close it and I will fill it. First name, wow, wow. gender. It's a select, so you have to start typing and it will show you male or female or you can create new ones. Date of joining, let's say it was two weeks ago. My date of birth, click here to go in the past. I would choose a random date. Middle name, last name. What other options do we have? The company details, but it's automatically set to our current company. And then if you have different branches, department, 
depends on how big your company is, you can set up it here. And you need an employee number, it's mandatory. I will enter 0, 1. Then save. And again, you can see, as we did for a customer, the interface is very similar, which makes it quite comfortable when you dive from a feature to another one. The only difference is in what is related to this view in particular. But the left, the picture, comments, activity is every time the same. Let's go to the most interesting part, the salary. Let's say I cost 20,000 a month. You can choose the currency, the salary mode. So I will want a bank transfer. You can add the bank information. You can enter the number. So the payroll will be simplified and then save. Fine, let's head back to HR. And on the left, we have different things. First, we need new employee. So you have a bunch of features for recruitment, such as job offers that you can set up directly here see the different um, applications made to it and decide and hire up to this platform once you hire them. Then once you have hired some employees, you can go to employee lifecycle and you can create, for example, an employee onboarding. For every new employee, you will provide them a new onboarding thing they will just have to follow and feel good within the company. So let's say, oh, this one is for um, an employee in particular, but if we go back to HR, employee lifecycle, we can create an onboarding template that then we can apply to all the one we want. Add employee onboarding template. Let's say download resources. Okay, we save it. We should add different tasks, but let's keep it and just show that you can assign it to different type of user. So either one by one or you can create a user group. You can say new users with hardware, the one that received their laptop. So now they can start uh, this onboarding session. And you can type the different user that already exists and match it. So currently I'm the only user. I would add myself and save. Then you have different tools that help your employee lifecycle. And once come the end of the month, you will need to go to the payroll. I won't deep dive into this feature, but again, you have the onboarding tour and the documentation. Depending on your type of business, you have some extra features that can benefit you or that you can just ignore. For example, manufacturing or quality, depending on what you do, it can be useful. You can also use it as a project manager where you can create projects. Let's do quickly one. Add project, let's name it website 001. Let's save it. We could also have templates to facilitate the process. Let's open our project here. And inside we can create tasks. Inside the connection, task, add task, do the design for this website, save it. By default, there is a filter applied, so let's clear it. We select it, actions, assign to, I will assign to me. You can enter a deadline, let's say in two days, and the priority is high, we need to work on it, and then add. Then if you head back to your projects, you can see the different tasks and do your work. It also comes with extra feature. For example, you have a website, which allows you to create your marketing website or even a blog one. In the onboarding tool, you have a video presenting you how it works, how to set up. The video is quite long, 30 minutes, so you can see it in depth. And you also have a CRM, which is very useful because you have all the accounting and the invoice system already present inside Frappe HR. So if the data flow come from the leads to the invoices, everything will be perfectly connected then to generate the financial reports. And for data that come outside, you have the integrations panel here. You can connect different services such as Google Contacts, Calendar or Drive, or even using webhooks and Slack. Because it contains a lot of features that I can't cover in this video, I recommend you to check the documentation to see if one particular need that you have is present 
in the documentation, link in the description. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed discovering Frappe HR with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, I recommend you watch this video, available here.